self-driving cars are statistically safer than human drivers. That's what they want you to think, Kenny. That's why they make them stats all nice and pretty, but before you know it, government controls every car. That's how they get you. Man, you're too paranoid, man. Oh, am I, Kenny? Am I paranoid, really? If a robot can drive a car, what else can he do? Can he cut hair better than you and me? I and mean, then suddenly then Jay don't need us anymore, but now we gotta go out and find another job? Oh, I know we can drive for Goober, except for, whoa, robots got all driving jobs. <laughs> You might be on to something. Hey, Jay, you wouldn't replace us with robots that come with uh, precise hair-cutting laser capabilities, would you? 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 Okay, oh, I stop, 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 stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did the conversation get to here? Just, huh? I, I just wanted to show you my new phone. <laughs> what is that, a tablet or a phone? That thing is shooting. Uh, keep up, young blood. <laughs> this is how they make them now. When I take a picture of myself, I can see every nose hair. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that, Jay. No one. <laughs> and check this out. <laughs> uh, Cherry, what's my name? Jay, the dream weaver. The finest chocolate drop to ever put on socks. Undisputed in the sheets. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's good. Um, Cherry, what is the weather outside? I do not understand command. Yeah. Cherry, what is the damn weather? You need to check that tone, homie. <laughs> it's 82 degrees, Jay. Yeah, 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 but see, you had to click. Yeah, but it worked. No, 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 no. Uh, voice activated is a thing of the future. <laughs> Cherry, weather. Calling Heather. The vixen. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, stop the call, stop the call. Uh, Cherry, Cherry, stop the uh, Hey, Heather. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I know this call is out of the blue, but Heather was a woman that Jay dated many years ago. Didn't end well. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> well, I will take your recommendation and go straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's good talking to you too. <laughs> I don't see why you pay all that money for a cell phone when you could just use a pay phone for a few cents. Maybe because pay phones are basically extinct? Well, you millennials is always bringing back retro stuff. I hope y'all bring back beepers. Boy, cause dating is exhausting now. All this texting, 24 hours a day. OMG, T-Y-Y-L, sundown, sunset, happy face, clap, clap, I'm exhausted. <laughs> and then they wanna charge you data. I'm telling you, man, I'm just gonna get my next lady a pager, cause you know, cheaper to beeper. <laughs> I ain't seen this place this empty since the food poison incident in 93. Look, that wasn't my fault. That was the government made those cows mad. Hey, wait, hey, where y'all going? Are you just gonna do me like, why are they doing me like this? Well, I did see a food truck parked outside. That's that damn Mr. Mixon's parked across the street. Hijacking all my business. Oh, really? you ain't got to worry about that, Mabel. Them kind of fads don't last. People like eating inside at a table. Exactly. They're just all into the novelty of fusion food. <laughs> Let me tell you what he put in the gallon. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> he got collard greens in a burrito, <laughs> mashed potatoes in a burger. <laughs> this one gonna kill you, though. Fried chicken lasagna. <laughs> Man, that sounds deep. D what? Disgusting. Exactly. You can't have fried chicken and lasagna. You got to pick a side. Of course you do. <laughs> Who gonna want two flavors at the same time? Okay. <laughs> well, gotta go. Ah. Oh. Where the hell are you going? Uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, barber shop. Sit your ass down. <laughs> oh, hey, Jay. <laughs> I'll be right there. Ooh, Mabel, I gotta go. It's an emergency down at the shop. <laughs> You think I don't see what's happening here? 
So you just gonna cheat on Mabel with the roach coach too? That's what you gonna do, Smitty? Uh, oh. Mabel, <laughs> this ain't about me. I'm doing this for you. You doing it for me. Ain't that something? Oh, you gonna leave too? Your little Rick Fox looking ass couldn't cook no way. <laughs> Toothbrush and toothpaste. All right, charger. That too. All right, sexy underwear. Why would I need that if I'm going on a trip with my girlfriends? Right, good answer, babe. <laughs> hey, look, I'm gonna miss you when you're gone. Oh, I love it that you're the girl in this relationship. Oh, come on, we do that. <laughs> look, men are allowed to be sensitive, just like women are allowed to vote. Uh, Kenny, you... women's suffrage has been around for a minute. Okay, yes, women have been suffering for a minute, babe. I understand. That's not what that means. Okay. Babe, look, I would invite you along, but there's just no boyfriends allowed. I mean, I would love to go on a trip with you, but, uh, not with your friends. So you got a problem with my friends? No, no, just, just Carol. I mean, she got a problem with every man out there. Look, I said bless you one time, and she screamed at me, I don't need no blessing for no cheating ass dog. I, mean, I never even cheated. Okay. You're girl crazy. Yeah, all right, Carol, she might have a little chip on her yeah, shoulder. She got chips, dip, and sauce on her shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'm all packed. All right, so uh, what time's your goober coming? Goober? Yeah. You're not taking me to the airport? I, I thought you were getting dropped off by a goober. Why would you think that? Because it's rush hour traffic, and, and, and you know, Goober's only gonna cost like 20 bucks. I'm, I'll pay for it. Okay, well, I'm sorry to be taking up your time, but if you love me, you should want to drive me and say goodbye at the airport. I mean, if you love me, you wouldn't want me sitting in two hours of traffic on the way back. I mean, come on. Baby, you could listen to a podcast. You can listen to a podcast on your Goober ride. Huh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See how it is? Well, okay. Goodbye, Kenny. What? Um, not that you were offering, but uh, don't worry about picking me up from the airport either. I will just order a car, and maybe the driver will be my new boyfriend! Well, 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 well my new girlfriend, my new girlfriend! Hey, hey. Okay, he already gone. Getting that goober. Jay, you would not believe what I discovered. Food truck? I can't understand a word you're saying, but there is an amazing food truck outside. Oh, my gosh. It is unbelievable. <laughs> I, I keep stuffing my face and, and hiding from Mabel. I know. This is my fourth lunch. <laughs> Only problem with that place is the line is too long. You know what? I have an idea. <laughs> we'll write a bad review for Mr. Mixon <laughs> online. <laughs> that way the lines will be shorter. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Cherry. Post a review for Mr. Mixon. Calling Heather, the Vixen. No, oh, no, 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 no! That is... Hey, Heather, hey. Yeah, it's a... Bye, Heather. I will never understand women. What you do now, Kenny? Why I gotta be me, Smitty? Look, all right, so I was helping Angelique finish packing to go on a girl's trip. Yeah, right? stop right there. <laughs> Don't tell me. Uh, she found a bra that didn't belong to her. Now, that's a tough one, but you can get no, up. No, no, no. Man, no. It was nothing like that. Look, man, when it was time to leave, I go to order her a goober, right? And she was mad because you ain't want to drive to the airport. Yeah, I didn't want to sit in traffic. Yeah, uh, women want you to want to spend as much time as possible with them. <laughs> Landed safety, not that you care, man. What's up with all this passive-aggressive bull, man? Oh, this is an easy one, Kitty. You got to put your pride to the side, apologize, realize, sympathize, and verbalize. Go on and get the girl some flowers. Until she forgive you, you should herbalize. <laughs> what is this, advice or the freshman class rap concert? What, come on, man, look. Look, man, I, maybe I'm sick of swallowing my pride, right? Like, you know, I just need to do something to get my mind off of this. Mr. Mr. Mixes. All right, hey, I'm gonna go grab me a plate right now. Okay, be cool, be cool. Oh! Kenny! You forgot your phone! Is that Angelique? What's she say now? I'm not gonna look at... Well, maybe I'll take a little peek. <laughs> uh, you're a jerk. See, Kenny is too hard-headed. He got to learn about how to handle women now. You want to keep a relationship right, you got to be able to admit when you're wrong. Especially yeah. when you're right. Yeah, well, he's stubborn. Just like me. <laughs> maybe I'll just... I... Jay, you his father that's crossing a line. Yeah, you're right. You do it. Okay. 
baby. Uh -huh. I am so sorry. I can't wait till you get home so I can make it all right. <laughs> peach emoji, said. What, what, what? Hey, a peach? Yeah, that's the one all the kids like. No. No, man, that, that, that means I, I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> oh, I thought that meant I was gonna bake your peach cobbler. Yeah. Oh. Now what's she saying? Uh, is everything about sex to you, Kenny? I think I need to reconsider our relationship. You ain't gonna let her get away with that. I got this. Well, if you're gonna get so upset about an airport ride mm -hmm. or an emoji. That's right. Maybe we should rethink our relationship. Send it! <laughs> you shouldn't have sent that. <laughs> you, you, you told me to send it. Jay, I don't know nothing about women. Hey, Smitty. Long time no see. It ain't been that long, Mabel, maybe a day or so. I don't measure time in days or hours. I measure them in meals, and think I haven't seen you in about six or seven? Look, I was doing a recon over there at Mr. Mixon's truck, and I, I tried everything on the menu. It's uh, the oxtail egg rolls, macaroni and cheese burger, the catfish quesadilla. It's all garbage. I don't believe a word you're saying. All right, all right, look, Mabel, Mr. Mix's truck is amazing. He put flavors together you would never even think about. He making flavors happen in my mouth I didn't even know was possible. You know what? You about to taste some fist-flavored blood in your mouth. Well, hold on Mabel. now, Mabel. No, look, look no, Mabel, we ain't got to do that. Look, I'm weak, no, Mabel. I know weak. not what I, I do. You. Yes, I didn't mean it like you that. I was just going to taste one like and then that. it just sort of got out of here. But you know what? <sighs> okay, that's all right. I won't because I'm gonna run that truck out of town. Oh, please don't. Mr. Mixon gonna bring people so much joy. What's that? Spark plug, straight out of that truck engine. Well, how's he gonna run his truck if he don't have a spark I'm plug? I'm gonna cook him out. <laughs> it's a real hot day, real scorcher, and Mr. Mixon ain't gonna be able to turn on his AC. Only thing I'm running is your customers to my truck. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm Stevie Wonder's hairstylist. I was wondering if it... You know damn well who the hell I am. I'm Mr. Mixon. Oh, Mr. Mixon, I am a culinary fan of yours. Shut up! I'm here for my spark plug. Well, ain't no need to be rude. I've been eating off your truck for three days. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. I just overheard you admit you took my spark plug. And I got you a video doing it. It was probably CGI or some beautiful woman who looks like me. Kim Kardashian, Rihanna, Cardi. Hardly. You look like a big toe. Now, you want to play these games? All right, smile with me. Uh, this means war. I can do war, baby. I'm from East Stoneflint. Well, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it, Chuck. And that's for you? This your friend? Yeah. You banned from my truck. You can have no more flavor of mine in your mouth. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean. Mr. Mixon, no! I mean, go! Yo, man, uh, don't you knock? You don't live here anymore. What if I was naked? What if I was naked? What do you mean, what if you were naked? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Look, I'm, I'm so upset, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, so what's going on? What are you doing here? Yeah, so, so Angelique, she hasn't been returning any of my texts or, or even the ones where I'm apologizing, nothing. And then out of the blue, she sends you some picture with some dude saying, rethinking our relationship with our new friend Chadwick. Who the hell is Chadwick, man? I don't know, but Chadwick looks like he's been in the gym. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know Angelique is crazy. Maybe, maybe she's just trying to make you jealous. All this over an airport drop-off? I mean, I told her I was sorry. Uh, uh, listen, son, there's, uh, there's something I need to tell you. <laughs> yes? Well, you remember the other day when you and Angelique were fighting? Well, you left your phone in the barbershop and, um, Smitty uh, was texting Angelique. He what? Yeah, he, he thought he was helping, but he, he made things worse. Oh, I'm about to go whoop his ass. No, 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 son. <laughs> First of all, uh, Smitty would uh, kick your ass. And uh, secondly, um, 
Yeah, it wasn't just Smitty. Uh, I was texting her too. Jane, uh, I, 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 you, I thought I was helping, but I, I made things much worse. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Who were you texting? I'm telling her you was texting as me. No, 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 no. Uh, no, that, that that will sound like a lie. But it's the truth. Yeah, but to you it's the truth. To me it's the truth. But to her it, it sounds like a lie, which is actually as bad as a. Uh, a real life. So now what the hell do I do? You, 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 you trust me, right? No. Uh, you, you, you forgive me, right? Absolutely not. Okay, well, let me make this right. Here, you, you, come, give, give it to me. All right, here, look. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Jay Weaver's secret line. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Boom. <laughs> I love you more than this fight. Boom. That's it? <laughs> trust me. Yeah, that's right there. All right, all right, all right, we'll see, Money. man. Money, we'll see. All right, we'll see. Good luck. Oh, you know what? And one more thing. Huh? Cherry, call Heather. Calling Heather. No, 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 no. Hey. One spark plug, and everybody's back. You know what else will really hurt Mr. Mixon's? If you took his whole menu, start serving them collard green burritos, girl, that'll run him straight out of town. Ooh. And the peach cobbler's in the little cup. Keep dreaming, Smitty. Won't you finish drinking your pork chop smoothie? Oh, that's what this is. Uh. Whoa! Oh! Ooh, Mabel, it's a rat! Oh, my, what on earth? Ha, ha, ha! Revenge! A dish best served cold. <laughs> but it ain't cold in here. You released a rat in my restaurant? Ha! Yes, I did. But I never admit it. You just admitted it. Did I? No, I yes, didn't. Yes, and I have a witness, Smitty. Mr. Mixon, I ain't seen nothing. That rat must have come in here from outside. Can I come back to your truck? Who side you on? Get your ass off my chair. You're lucky it was just a rat. It could have been worse. Could have been rat poison in your food next time. Well, that truck of yours could get stolen. Wait a minute, old Tamma. You going too far now. No, going too far is having the truck stolen with you in it. <gasps> Huh. All right, all right. <laughs> I can see you. You tough. You're a tough old bra. I mean, you you tougher than gas station beef jerky. <laughs> but you're a hustler like me. <laughs> and game recognize game. True that. All right, all right. So, uh, if I wasn't married, I would... But you are. And my game recognizes your game, Mr. Mixon. <laughs> my game recognizes all games. Except for Monopoly. I don't know why you got to look both ways when you pass go. I almost Shut got Shut up, Smitty! <laughs> now, what are you proposing? 10K, and I'll move my truck to a different neighborhood. That's blackmail. That's business. And that's a zip. <sighs> All right, Mr. Mixon. 5K. Deal. I'm talking about. <laughs> and unban my friend there. Uh, you know, Kenny, flowers are usually a little too corny for me, but these are a nice touch. Mm. Flowers from a heart's flower. <laughs> that is also a little corny, okay. but I like it. I like it. And thank you for picking me up. I know traffic to the airport was probably just hell. Oh, baby, it wasn't no thing. Hey, did you know they have a podcast about strictly murders? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. So, uh, <sighs> is the fight officially over? I hereby declare a fight officially over. All right. Ooh. So then, um... So then, uh, what? Oh, don't make me ask. <laughs> okay. Let's have makeup sex. <laughs> no, no. That, that, that's, that's not it, babe. Baby, you don't want makeup sex. It's like the second best sex. It's just above vacation sex, and it's just below coming back from deployment sex. It's no, sex, no, no, I, no I, I want makeup sex like a brother's fresh off of parole. But oh. I want makeup sex. But, but you know... Let's just put a pin in it for a minute, okay? okay and uh, maybe right. you can uh, tell me who the hell is Chadwick? Huh? Well, you still tripping about Chadwick? No, I'm not, I'm not tripping. I'm just, you know, maybe stumbling a little Dude, bit, but I just gotta know. You have nothing to worry about. He's just some guy that Carol met on her trip and she started hooking up with. I just asked him to take a picture with me to make you mad. Okay, okay, well look. Him and Carol won't last. Why would you say that? Because that's Carol, sure. Okay, all right, fair enough. Make it sex now? Hell yeah. Let's get him. Mm. Let's get him. Oh, but... Oh, you know when I realized that I would be an idiot to lose you? What, the flowers? No, oh, it's when you told me that you love me more than this fight. That really put things into perspective. Oh, babe. 
That's all me, baby. Thought of losing you made me put this whole relationship into perspective. Now, let me put... Oh, my goodness! Yes! Kenny! Fuck a fuck a fur fur! Let's go! So, uh, what are you guys gonna go for lunch today? I'm crushed Mr. Mixon is gone. He's only a couple miles away. In traffic, it's like 45 minutes uh, there and back. Well, we can always go over to Mabel. She got some new fusion items, like armadillo toast. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Mr. Mixon's. Calling Heather, the Vixen. No, 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 no! <laughs>